you guys a welcome to beauty in the garden i'm t today you guys we are going to be harvesting and as well i'm going to show you guys what's going on in the back garden uh, everything has popped up and started to grow i'm a little late with showing you guys some of these things so i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys up and as well you guys I'm going to put down in the description box below the link to how I go about planting my squash. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see me plant my beans because once I harvest my cabbage today, I will be popping in you guys some more beans. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me plant up the beans because I want to go ahead and get that done. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me plant up the beans it's very simple but if you guys still want to see me do it just let me know in the description below so let's go ahead you guys and start our harvest of the day right here you guys is my white onions uh, I planted very thickly here I just want to kind of harvest these guys for their tops and in the front, I will be harvesting these babies right here as onions. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this uh, Rodicchio. It is not that big. It actually is supposed to get a heart in it, but I want to go ahead and use this space for something else. So I will just go ahead and use this guy here in some lettuce. So I'm going to go ahead and... Remove this thing here and put that, you guys, in our basket. Okay, that is the Rodicchio. Go ahead and clean up some of these weeds as you go. Okay. Right here is my compost, you guys. I'm scared. I just put up the uh, fabric already, but I need to go ahead and put up the sides. I'm getting there. Okay, right here, you guys, is sugar pie pumpkins, okay? And I have two of those. They look very well after, you guys, the frost. Um, the frost did take out some of my squash. Not many, not the ones back here, but definitely the ones up front. Okay, so right here is some tender green beans I did pop in here some buttercup squash that's these two little babies right here and right here at these beans right here you guys is the fire bean now I really like the fire bean it's it just tastes really buttery I do like this bean um, try it out um, I see that some of my onions are uh, going to seed. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this scape out. I'm going to pop these out right here. I'll just cut these up, you guys, and make some, uh, put this in maybe some potatoes or something. So I'll go ahead and put this, you guys, in the basket as well. I think I see a little one right here. Pop that up. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way here where we stop where the fire beans was and I planted some acorn squash. See this right here, one here. And believe it or not, this one was the same size, but I think something came in, nipped the head off and is growing back. So we're good with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this red acre The next 
set of beans, you guys, is the wax beans. Now, this is a yellow bean right here. Um, I don't know what happened here. Um, maybe my rabbit. I don't know. Something happened. But right here is the wax beans. And they're doing very well. I'm going to ahead and take this off. And right behind here, I planted the Dakota squash. They haven't came up yet. I think that's what it's called, Dakota uh, squash. And I'll shoot a picture of all these squash as I go down the line so you guys can have a visual of what I have planted. I planted some more onions. And this, you guys, is the Texas Sweet yellow onion and right down the middle here I went ahead and planted the white I planted some sweet dumpling in that spot it has not came up yet I'm gonna be popping in some more things here right here is the royal burgundy bean in this right here it's a beautiful purple bean I planted here right behind here you guys I planted some watermelon right here uh, I'm going to see how that's going to do but we will see this is my first time planting such a big variety of watermelon that I'm going to try to get this baby to go up this trellis but we're going to see we're experimenting we're going to see this baby more onions going up and down here as well here is the spaghetti squash here and there and I planted a kushaw right here and then right here I popped in this corner because this was the last one I popped it in this corner and this is the yellow patty pan squash right here in these two containers you guys know that I planted potatoes and here they are. This is the potatoes, you guys. I planted in the video. And now it is time for me to go ahead and add some more soil to these containers. So these are our potatoes in containers. They are doing amazing. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. So there you go. And then over here, I planted in this and in, in that one and that one is the yellow pear tomato right here I got to come out here and do some pruning on these babies um, I see some suckers that I want to go ahead and remove now you guys if you have suckers you can easily pop those suckers in some soil and go ahead and start a new plant if that's something you want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up and here down here is a Roma tomato Right here is the Serrano chilies I planted in the video so you guys see those babies and they are doing absolutely well. Now there's another technique that you guys can do as well that you can get these peppers nice big and bushy is to go ahead and remove this tip and all of those side shoots will expand out and, and make this plant sturdier and bushier. I will be doing that soon you guys. Uh, I do want these plants to just a tad bit more sturdier, being the fact that they are in containers. The next thing is, back here is the habaneros, you guys, and they are not doing good. That cold, I don't know what happened. The cold really got to these two. Okay, and then down here is the Hungarian wax. 
and right here and he's struggling too is the cayenne long so but they're still alive they still have hope um and we're going to see what happens and then i'll keep you guys updated on those those two pots back there are still empty over here is the golden beach you guys i'm going to go ahead and take these up soon I just I'm ready to take them off I just like them for the tops I really don't care for the bottoms but they're there um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and right around the perimeter here as well is my onions so I planted onions around all the perimeters of my bed right here is the long purple eggplant this one right here is the black beauty and that one right there is the green knight. Now I did plant a giant green and a white Casper eggplant. And once I take these up, you guys, I'm gonna pop them right here. Right here is my cantaloupe in the back and my sugar baby watermelon is right there. And that, you guys, is gonna go up this trellis so I'm going to take you guys just a little bit further over and show you guys my strawberries. Now I will be putting my screen on top of this, you guys, to prevent birds from coming in here, pecking at my uh, strawberries. So let me show you guys what is going on. I did pop this one in and this one in off of this plant and they're, they caught so they looking good right here look at that you guys i'll just show you guys all my little strawberries let me see if i can get you guys in there this is all the strawberries now i do like to feed my fruit with epsom salt um so i do a two tablespoons of epsom salt in my two gallon pitcher um right here you guys can see them all um, look at that strawberries you guys some are starting to turn so I'm gonna go ahead and cover them back up um, with my uh, my net so I'm definitely definitely gonna go ahead and do that you guys so go ahead and move this one because I see a pest um, and this is another thing let me see if I can show you guys see that that's a slug slug and they will ruin your fruit now I will be starting to put something down to prevent this um, maybe a salt border um, just around the uh, perimeter and uh, behind here so that they won't want to come past that so we're gonna throw that away okay now next to our strawberries I planted a tiger melon some tiger melons right here you guys so that's gonna go up this trellis as well here is some jalapenos peppers and they're doing well I planted which one is this here this is a habanero pepper here and here I planted the Hungarian wax that's here and here and all of these right here, these four, is my jalapeno chilies. And they're doing well. And back here is my cayenne long. So that is what this is looking like. So we have our harvest of the day. And as well, you guys, uh, everything is doing good. I have more space to plant more things. So I'm excited about that. There's a couple more things that I need to do in the long haul. Let's go ahead and put that soil in those containers and in the main bed up front. I will go ahead and uh, fill those up with a little bit more soil. So, so, okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoy. You guys, this is our harvest of today. So this was awesome. So you guys, please don't forget, you guys, to give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification so you guys will be notified when I upload a video. 
And remember, you guys, there is beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.